good day everyone my name is shaini and welcome back to another episode of thoughtful leaders thoughts on education presented by college group today we have with us dr riti tibedi ma'am principal of sal college of pharmacy and the welcome to our show ma'am thank you yes ma'am so ma'am to t- st- start up with the interview i would first like you to introduce yourself uh, my name is dr riti tibedi I am in the education field since 17 years. So far, I have completed with the education system, and uh, I am connected with the Sal Education since last seven years. I joined Sal as a professor and HOD, and now I have been promoted as a principal of Sal College of Pharmacy. Uh, recently, I I am uh, acting as a in charge principal of Sal Institute of Pharmacy. So moving on to my first question, ma'am. Yeah. Being the principal of Sal Education Campus, uh, Sal College of Pharmacy, uh, what is your philosophy of leadership, and how do you describe your leadership style? Uh, see, according to me, leadership is something when being the leader, uh, we are collectively going together. So we are at Sal, we are having that kind of a strategy, and we are uh, moving towards that kind of a strategy that we do believe in the team work. As a team, we are having our professor. Like after the principal, there are our professors, our assistant professor, associate professor, along with the students. So we are giving equally importance to everyone. So according to me, leadership should be something uh, where leader cannot emphasize themselves. Ah, uh, they can also emphasize along with their team. So yeah, that is leadership according to me. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, my second question is: uh, How does the curriculum of Sal College of Pharmacy ensure the best practice of the industry within pharmacy? Uh, see, uh, particularly in pharmacy, we are running the education profile according to the PCI, that is Pharmacy Council of India, which is located at the New Delhi. Uh, the curriculum has been decided by the PCI. We just have to implement it. Uh, we are right now associated with. Jha Technological University, also that we are following their curriculum. But recently, PCI has given us lot of, uh, you can say, uh, chances where we can introduce our students with the industry. Uh, we are giving them a small small project which is related with the industry, like say, pharmacy is basically a healthcare profession. Also, uh, students are exposed to the industry. They can do their work with, uh, we can say, the amalgam. Uh, along with the industry to the uh, education system, uh, so that kind of a curriculum uh, basically helping the students uh, to have their inherent quality and they can nourish their quality and it is very beneficial to the student if they want to work with the industry. Okay, ma'am. Thank you for your insight. My next question is, what are your roles and responsibilities to Sal College of Pharmacy and to the students as well? Uh, Being the principal, our first role, or say my first role, is uh, to give the best education to the student. People are always selecting the Sal because of its, you can say, large campus. Along with our educational activities, we are uh, keen towards the GPU technical festivals uh, that always include the youth festival, the sports activity, the cultural activity, etc. Also, uh, education is my first priority. Apart from that, I truly believe that a student should be nourished in all the ways, and they should also uh, have to build up their human qualities. Also, also uh, we will have we are having a right balance with education along with such kind of a morals, uh, which we can impart to the students. Okay, right. Uh, my next question is: What do you think should be Sal College of Pharmacy's top priority over next ten years? Uh, see, next ten years we are already uh, com- we have already completed our ten years in the education sector. We established our college in two thousand and nine in the pharmacy sector. Uh, right now, we are having two colleges: one is Sal Institute of Pharmacy, another one is Sal College of Pharmacy. So we already have uh, like uh, increased with the students. Uh, that is how, like, uh, it it is beneficial to the students. And uh, apart from that, uh, uh, like, I would always suggest that uh, we can focus on to the research. So yes, after ten years, I see Sal as a milestone of the research uh, in the education field. Okay, ma'am. Now a thoughtful question to you: What uh, when you first came to uh, Sal? 
College of Pharmacy, Sal Education Campus. Uh, what was your vision for the Sal Education Campus, and how has it evolved over time? Uh, see, uh, like uh, saying to the long back in 2017, I entered into the Sal as a professor. At that time, we were running the uh, uh, public uh, course as well as the farm course. We have now added MPharm course that basically help us to develop our research program. Uh, we are thinking to impart more master's courses so that we can give the best education to the student. And recently, as I told you, uh, like uh, one year back, we have op opened one more pharmacy college. So yes, uh, the thoughtful vision was that gradually we are going to accomplish that thoughtful vision and we will definitely be succeeded in that vision. Yes, moving on to next question. Uh, what is uh, unique about SAL Education Campus in general? Uh, unique about SAL Education Campus is uh, a big question uh, which is having multiple answers and according to me it is not a question at all. First of all, we are having a very big campus. We are running uh, more than six colleges in our campus. So here they are like when you want to do a collaborative work, like say, say for an example, I want to do my PhD. So that is basically a very big thing which we can say. So apart, like along with the pharmacy, we are having engineering colleges. Like particularly, if I give you the example, so say I want to develop a new medicament or new doses form. So I can uh, take a help from software engineer also. I can take like to uh, give the marketing of my product. I can take the help from MD also. So in one campus, like I would say in one tree only, you are getting multiple branches. So all the branches can work uh, together. So that is something which is very unique about this. That's very nicely said. Uh, so I would like to end this interview with the question uh, that any suggestion you would like to give to current youth and aspiring students? Yes, definitely. So I would like to say only one message to the youth. Like current youth is uh, according to me technologically they are very sound. But uh, see in some moral values they are uh, lacking somewhat. Uh, so that I would like to say the, um, we can say Gen Z's of this uh, Youth that you increase your moral values and uh, you take the best education from us not only in the pharmacy or not only in the technical field nowadays uh, days there are a lot of chances in lot of sectors to so choose what you are passionate about and give your more than 100 percent the field which you have chosen okay ma'am thank you so much thank you for your interview thank you from college thank you very much